Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on Alec GTV. My name is Alec Godwin if you're just meeting me for the first time and uh, today we are unboxing and um, kind of reviewing this tiny little cheap camera I bought from Amazon and um, we're gonna see how this guy plays out, how good this is and if it plays out well we just might introduce this guy on board and see how they pair up. That's what we're doing today. Coming up. All right, welcome back. If you're here for the first time, I would love you to join the family and subscribe to this channel. Um, here we do music, movies, tech reviews, and uh, like most of you, I have a dream to someday, you know, make a future uh, Hollywood blockbuster and all the good good is right. But Rome wasn't built in a day, so for now, I practice on YouTube, and that's basically what this YouTube channel is about my journey, my documentation, my practice, my learning experience and sharing and um, hopefully like minds will be on board and we can rub minds together and grow together. Get it? All right, now let's get to the review. Was it $92 now? I'll write the current price on the screen so you check it out. Um, by the features, the features I saw on Amazon, I was like, if this picture is good, it might just be a very good compatible camera with this Queen M2. And that's the basic reason why I bought it. If it's, if the camera is any good, I already know it can pair up with this one. I've never touched this camera before, never seen it. I just saw the specs and I was like, if this is what it says, then they will really pair up fantastically. So here is uh, unboxing going on right now. And uh, I don't even know the name is called Digital Camera. I don't see a manufacturer name. It's got this symbol on this side. And then it's got um, digital camera. It says, please check accessories when you buy. Internal firmware occupies some storage capacity. Oh, internal firmware occupies some storage capacity. So the actual available capacity is smaller than the storage capacity. Okay, so there is, is there no SD card? The pictures on the package are the are for reference only, which is subject to the final product. What does that mean? Is it not the final product? Made in China. Uh, I see a name now. Ro R O H S. Uh, nothing obviously like a brand name though, but let's unbox and see what we have in here. Okay, let's try to do beneath this time. Okay, please use high speed micro SD. Oh, we have SD, that's good news. Micro SD card, at least C6. I'm learning, I'm trying to be a good boy these days. I'm trying to read all manuals, so I will, I will read, it, read this one. So what comes in the box? A manual. We have um, charging cables. We have, oh well, socket or whatever. This is the cable. And we have something like a, something like a strap. Okay. We have, It's a tiny battery. Ooh, looks like a phone battery. 
lithium battery. So it's got a battery that needs to be charged. I don't know. So we'll find out how long. So that's it basically. And this is the camera. So I guess we can get this guy up the picture now. So let's unveil the camera. And this is even tinier than the A6400 that I thought was extra tiny. Um, meanwhile, if you haven't seen the review of my A6400, probably because it's not ready. I'll put a link up in the description here and so you check it out. It is um, an unusual review of the A6400. That is what I'm going to title it. That is what I titled it. Review, review still in progress, but when it's ready, it's, it's going to be here. But the bottom line is, it is an awesome camera, but you know, from my perspective, it's even more awesome. <laughs> okay. All right. So now for this camera, um, it's looking in the shape like, you know, similar shape with the Sony, but it says open here. So it's got that flash, <laughs> tiny little thing. It's, it, it, it's not 1080p, that's what I originally thought, it's 2.5K. If the picture is really good, if the resolution is anything to write home about, we'll find out. And one of the features I really love, you know, it can go, go down, I can balance it, and then when I want to shoot, I bring it up. It won't really make much difference, I think. So next thing is to see, let's look at where the battery is. Battery is here and compactment, battery compartment. Uh, we're supposed to push this way and it's not popping open. Okay. All right. We're good. All right. We have a tiny micro SD card in here. Got it. So we can slot this in. So first of all, we're gonna charge this thing. Let's get the charging going on. And uh, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna go ahead and try to balance it right now on this gimbal. Might wanna put an SD card. How you guys doing? <laughs> yeah. So we're good. So now we got our content. Everything that should be in there is in there. Um, I'll keep these guys aside for now. Now we got a three, um, a one quarter thread here. Because our two tiny stuff. Um, I guess uh, we can put it anywhere. The big or the small. I don't think it really matters. I'm just gonna Go with the big. Also watch out for the review. We got a A6400 review. The M, Crane M2 review. And this one, you don't want to miss it out. If it's ready, the link will be right, right here. What we'll do. Things are changing fast, so we gotta be ready for the change. I'll get this guy in here. See how light it is? Now I know this will heat. I know this will this will not work. This is why I loved it. So I'm gonna have it down. And you see that now? Easy. Easy. All right, so now we'll balance it like this. When it's down, we'll take it up. All right, so where do we start? Mm, where do we start? I think we are, I think we are good on the, 
on the position. It's not tilting forward, it's not tilting backwards. It look, it's looking like uh, we'll take care of this first. Um, so while this is falling to the right, we will push it in. Okay, still falling to the right, push it in. Still a little bit, a little bit. All right, somewhere there. Tie that up. Okay, now let's go to this part. Of course not. So we have our base. Oh, base is not tight. Okay. So now let's take this one off. If it's going that way, we want to take it up. Oh, easy. Okay. So this is good. This is good. Now let's get the last. Everything is almost there. Just a little bit. We'll push this in. Since it's tilting to the right, we'll push this in a little bit and see. Get it back in position and tilt a bit more. Basically, we could we could leave it at this, but uh, just okay. Now I think everything is pretty much spot on. Okay, let's see one. So I'll say it's time to power up. It's time to power up. Power on this side. Okay. Okay. All right, so. Let's get the lock mode. Power follow, and from there we go here. All right, so now we can have our vlogging set up. But one more step. Let's get this guy up. Come on. All right. Now we should be able to vlog easy. I don't expect any problems from the motors because it's pretty light. I just wanted to see if this is a cheaper option for people out there, vloggers, those of you on my channel, you know, especially those who are trying to start up first time YouTube channel. Um, you might want to go, you know, Game Bass is becoming cheap. As a vlogger, you, you might want to go with this one. This is, this is right now, it's about 199 less than 200 this is less than 100 so under 300 you could be started but let's first of all no rush i'll check out the camera one way to know if your your gimbal is balanced is to try the inception mode let me do let me see okay and then okay we got it Ooh. It didn't touch the motor, so we can. So it's looking like we can do it. Well, so we can have it open. Just barely touches. When you power up the camera, um, it usually makes a sound. I better cut that sound now. I already muted it. Now follow me on the settings. To get my result, these are the settings you need to do. I think, I think it's the best you can get out of this camera. Now for disclaimers, 
uh, most smartphones are going to get you better result than this this stuff but if like me i'm you want to give this to your kids i'd rather have to give them this than a phone <laughs> you you know so uh one two for the fun factor i love the fact that he has this flip screen and uh, i'd rather you know i prefer this to some other choices out there so that being said let's go through the settings okay uh, first of all the major settings i think the best settings you can achieve from the still you see the still um, from the still mode or picture mode okay this is where you want to get it right capture mode leave that a good load. resolution um continuous capture those are for uh, pictures of course if you are taking photos then you want to do continuous on if that's what you're into but that's not our problem now we want to see how it's good for video um, the scene mode leave it on auto quality I was okay with normal sharpness leave it at normal white balance yeah this is the most important your white balance is the most important watch what 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 will happen when I move it to daylight see it turns greenish or golden or whatever this is the daylight settings there or i don't know whatever settings we got into i may have to go back to default and start up from there again but just stay away from daylight uh stick to auto and color um leave it on normal iso you want to leave it on auto exposure forget about that face detection is on, whatever that is. It, I saw the tracking box and I think, uh, you know, it does something. So we'll leave it on. Anti-shake, of course, anything that is like stabilization will be appreciated in stuff like this. Quick uh, review. Okay, so um, if you want to see your picture footage or I don't know, you want to see that put your time in stamp okay date and stamp i already said the date and time um maturing you don't want to bother yourself with that so that's all you really need to do then go to your video by clicking this all right then it puts you into this cinema screen and then all the settings the uh, exposure the settings you made in the still section applies now to the video section but let's see what else we need to check Let's go to the menu now. I'll check the resolution. Uh, 2.7K. So keep it on 2.7K. That will get the uh, best uh, resolution. Now, HDI means high dynamic range. It was off. You want to turn that on. HDI keep the highest possible dynamic range from this camera. You know, I'm not saying it's still fantastic, but you are getting the best out of this especially we don't need it motion de detection we don't need it record audio please say yes uh, i don't know who will not want to record audio but make sure that is on we should be good to go so that's that's basically the rundown okay very quickly something i want to make clear uh one while i wanted to do or oh, well while i did do some comparisons between both cameras this is the Zoom Q4H. It is 2.3K um, resolution, and this is uh, 2.7 or so the claim. Now, while I did do a comparison, first of all, how I'm gonna show this to you, my timeline is in 24 frames per second, and I did not put that into consideration while I was recording. Uh, this is in 25 frames per second. There's no other option, you can't get 24. I think it was a fair challenge picture-wise, Okay, now recording. I think this is a better comparison for the pictures. Um, yeah, I think from what I see, from what I see right here on the screen, it could turn out differently. But from what I see on the screen, 
the um, the newcomer is uh, a better picture. Okay, now recording. I think this is a better comparison for the pictures. Um, yeah, I think from what I see, from what I see right here on the screen, it could turn out differently. <laughs> but from what I see on the screen, the um, the newcomer is uh, a better picture. Um, I have put a link in the description below where you can just go and click and watch this guy, his, the footage alone. And that alone will help you decide, okay? Depending on your level. Now, um, if you have the money, I won't say go for this. Go for A6400, go for the Canon M50, go for, um, even this is a lot better. This is about 200 plus. I'll put this amount on the screen. Um, but the review for this is coming, okay? It's got a flip-up screen, so that's an added advantage, you know? Um, but let me know in the comments if you want to see a review. I'm going to do it anyway, but if you ask for it, I will do it faster. For some reason, um, it's not it's not it's not true 2.7k. It keeps falling back to 1080p. Um, I chose the 2.5k quite all right, uh, but looking on my timeline and um, the metadata of my clip, it is 1080p. It's not a true 2.7k like it says. Maybe what they're trying to say is it's got a 2.5k sensor, and then it reads that into the 1080p and so it looks better. I don't know, but it eventually, essentially, it is a 1080p camera. The price versus the quality, I think is a match. Um, the format, just for those who want to know, file is um, MOV, it's a H.264 format coded, and it's 25 frames per second only. I think it's a good camera for the price and for the people that it's meant for. Kids, beginners, uh, something to get your overhead rig, you know, you want to get that over top, it's lightweight. You could also use it. You can put this one on as your second camera instead of buying something like this, which is expensive. On that note, let's jump back to, I think it is now worthy of, you know, getting back on here. Congratulations, you made it. I think we'll, we'll wrap up with the with a clip from this guy. In case you wanna go with this unit, this is 199. Uh, this is uh, less than 300 combo. Okay. Um, I don't wanna, something I thought about. I don't want to make it look like, cause I got some pretty decent lights going on. So I don't wanna make it look like, uh, cause lightings can change a lot of things, so. If you don't have these lightings and you don't get this result, I don't want you to think like, oh, I played the fast one on you, so I guess I'm still gonna go outside. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.